preset patches of the JDXA out of the box are really cool, very versatile. There's a lot more possibilities than we could ever imagine when we were creating these patches. So what we did is we're putting up a site, up uh, the Roland Axial website, that really offers a lot more uh, functionality and possibilities of the JDXA. For instance, um, I put uh, 16 drum kits that are going to be up there. And these drum kits are not your typical drum kits. These are, drum, these are rhythm kits based on noise, okay? Based on white noise and a lot of different uh, functionality using the cross modulation and arpeggiations and sequences. For instance, I have this uh, particular sound. Pretty simple, very rhythmic, very cool. And if I wanted to, uh, here, that, that's with the arpeggiator on, this is with it off. Okay, with the arpeggiator back on. Okay, getting better, getting better. Of course, you can tweak this any way you want, but the thing that's cool is I, I like to use these noise kits and to create this sort of undercurrent of rhythm um, using the sequencer. So I could sequence any of this stuff. Right? I can sequence it. go to another one. Now this is a very very cool sound. Probably thinking wow it sounds like turbines or whatever you know but you start playing with it and all of a sudden it becomes very unique. So for instance I sequence something in this using this particular patch. becomes very useful. Now think about putting like an additional drum groove on top of this or start to take things away a little bit so you just hear little shimmers of noise here and there. Now in this particular case I have going out CV into the System 1M and I have this same bass line cranked out here so I'll just turn up the volume here. I turn down the System 1 M, so you're just now hearing this. Now let's go into the sequencer a little bit, and I'll show you how I can, you can kind of play around with these. So if we look here, you can see the events in the first bar, okay? It kind of goes away because we only have one bar here. But if I hold down Shift and I select the, the second tab here, now I'll see the events of the second bar. Okay, so now let's clear everything. Nothing in the second bar, and soon, nothing in the first bar. Now, I can easily just select stuff as I want. Let's go to the second bar. Maybe I just want something crazy like this. I think you get the idea. Now I'll just eliminate whatever I'm feeling. I think you get the idea. So what that allows us to do is to really change things up in real time, constantly, constantly evolving as your groove, uh, you know, like maybe whatever you're syncing to, as your groove is evolving, you can evolve too. So it's very, very intuitive and just a lot of fun.